It's currently like 2.45. I'm filming this on my phone because I'm too lazy to get my camera equipment out. But, um, so it's gonna be super shaky, so I'm gonna apologize. And we're going to Tinker Air Force Base. Um, I'm not really excited about it. But now, um, we're heading to the CVR and we're getting on a bus and we're going to Ops. KC and everything's going good and lo and behold I can't get my bag I have to wait for it to go around again because of this caution tape so that was super fun we waited for our rides to come and then we waited like five or six more hours for everybody else to show up and then I had to film this dingy bathroom because everything here is dated and they have like roaches everywhere which is kind of gross but anyways whatever so like here's a room tour I guess um, we had like a little kitchenette and everything everything as always was super dated but everything's better than living in a dingy dorm room at Yusafa so you know what like it is what it is life is good so next day I went to downtown OKC with my cousin Sophie and we ate breakfast and got coffee and then we went to this fire station which was kind of cool um, we saw some cool firefighters and trucks and they did some like demonstrations for us which was pretty neat and we got to try on their like uniforms and stuff obviously it was hella big because i'm 5'2 but it was still cool and then here i thought they were gonna do something like super super cool um but they weren't um they were just cooling down the plane for us which is respectable because it'd be hot anyways we got to go inside the plane and it was essentially deconstructed so you know that was cool and then we got to look at a b1 taken off um i know you're really not supposed to record the flight line but you know what they said we could record so you know you know it was cool you know look at the plane it's, it's a nice plane isn't it yeah that's what i thought anyways uh so here's more of the plane they use it for like fire demonstration purposes we're chilling the, uh, at the firefighters place um i was actually wondering if we could they got a that. home theater so. basically they got like a full kitchen a little large so while we were at the station the fire alarms went off and then when we went to down Town OKC later that day, fire alarms were going off there. But we went to this place called the Underground, which was super cool. But I had to laugh because Chloe made this funny reference. <laughs> but like it was giving you soft. Up. Anyways, we went down these really cool tunnels and like the lighting was kind of weird, but like whatever. But I thought this part was really cool because it was like love advice and stuff. Um, not that I need that, but you know, uh, it was still nice. I will say though, that was probably my biggest complaint about Ops Air Force. Literally, we never had any downtime. That was probably my biggest complaint. But we got kicked out of the underground because it was like 8 o'clock. But we went to this place that was like an old bank turned like hotel and like restaurant. But it also had like a secret bar called The Vault. I thought that was super cool. And then we went upstairs to like look at the restaurant. It was totally like way better in person. Um, very pretty. And so I wish I we ate there. I'm not going to lie. But then we looked around and we went in the bathrooms. Um, super nice bathrooms. Love the view. 10 out of 10. So Tinker is known for like their maintenance stuff. So we did a lot of maintenance tours, but it's also like the second like largest on-site employer, the first being Walmart. So that was cool. We then were voluntold to help out with their summer festival. Um, I liked the car show. We did that. We also applied to get a PS4 and we didn't win in the drawing. But I saw this band, they're really good. I probably would have let them play at my wedding, I'm not gonna lie. But here we're doing um, like VR simulator stuff, and I didn't really feel like doing that, so yeah. 
learn to fly here through doing uh, flight simulators. You know the vibes. I did do the flight simulator though, and I did a touch and go, but I never knew how to land, and I blame COVID for that because whenever I took AV100, um, I didn't get to that point because of Corona. Anyways, me and Jamie are posing in front of the Fit to Fight, Fit for Life, Fit for Fun for Duty sign, and you know, I just love my country, you know, America. Mm, look at us posing because we're we're baddies. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> I could look it up, but I honestly don't remember. But here we are going to take it. And yeah, I just thought that was crazy because it was like so cold. And here's like their like sign or whatever. And here's me and this girl named Ellie. And we were just laughing and having a good time on the flight. You know, just vibes. Okay, so here I am waiting my turn on the boom whacker, having a good time. And I got a beef with Dad because the whole trip, Dad was acting like he didn't know who I was. As if we haven't been in the same squad for the past two years. Whatever, I'm not mad. So, Tati is learning how to do boom whacker stuff. It's pretty cool, I guess. So, I'm in the cockpit, right? I look back, everybody's slumped. But I put my microphone in my headphones, so it's going to be I feel very rejuvenated. I took a good two hour nap and um, feeling great. <laughs> Don't think anything went wrong. Um, we just didn't get to refuel anything, but here's a random auditorium where we had a meeting in. And this is significant right here because that's the AWACS we flew on and like the squadron, so you know, cool. So this is the, one of the few days we got to leave base and I had the great idea to go to Insomnia Cookies because I'm just full of great ideas. They were delicious. I also had to get a video of uh, this uh, pretty much dare sign, uh, RIP dare. Okay, so first things first, this space is super big and obviously they don't have enough money to like rebuild or refurbish any of the buildings here. Everything's super dated, super old. I'm not trying to be rude necessarily, but like look at that building, look at that. Like what the heck, like there was no like outside. Regardless, throwback to the 1970s. So basically here's where the planes come to get rebuilt. I'm so tired of ops, I'm not gonna lie. Everyone say hi to Jamie. Why does the Air Force use the same like PowerPoint? Like there was a lot of old photos and relics at the museum and breaking barriers, yeah, as always. And here's like a random shot I got of the facility. And this was our ride since so for the facility. Then we went to the next facility, and it was pretty much the same thing, but a bigger building. Then me and the girls decided to go to Norman, and I had like a little sad moment because this was my number one. I should have went here instead of soft, but whatever. But we got our nails done, and the place had like this bird, and they had like four birds, and they were just chilling in the like nail salon. And yeah, uh, I don't like birds to be honest, but whatever. So we went to their like police training center and we did police simulators. I did okay to be honest, but then we went to the range and I killed it. I'm a country girl at heart, slay. Uh, we were supposed to get chased by the dogs, but that didn't happen. And we were also supposed to get tased, but that may or may not have happened. Then the last day we had like a pet the jet thing that was like completely unplanned, but it was still really, really cool. Um, I will say though, it looks like we did a lot, but we actually didn't. We just had a crap ton of briefs that I did not film. But here is like their 3D printing room. Uh, that was cool. They gave us these little gifts that were like iPhone holders, like their stands. That was cool. Then we went to go work with like a plasma knife, I think. Um, I did so bad on this. I was so scared I was gonna hurt myself. But the guys made a star in other shapes. That was cool. And then we went to go weld and the guy was teaching us. That was cool, but I think another complaint I had about Ops Air Force is that, like I said a second ago, like we had all like doing all these briefs, and like this was so fun learning how to weld and stuff. Like this was probably like the best part, and they definitely filled our time with a bunch of like BS stuff that like nobody cared about. But I, even though like we couldn't have this job, I still thought that, like this was fun, and this was the guys' work. Um, they did half of it. 
And then this is my work. Um, best welder in the game. It took me a while to figure it out, but I got it. Then we went to the courthouse and this was, I was in my element. This is where I need to be. I've always wanted to be a lawyer, but definitely not a military lawyer. But other than that, this was a really cool. And then we headed home and that was probably like the best part of the trip was leaving. I'm not gonna lie. Look at this buffalo. Um, we just got snacks at this snack, like restaurant list, Oklahoma airport. And yeah, some lady or beautiful girl told us that we look like influencers. So yeah, I don't know. Keep the fits, y'all. You tell me. Okay, I've flown United like one time, but like, what is this tiny plane? And also, what is this? Why is it sticking out of the plane? We in the ghetto. Anyways, we landed in Denver. Yeah. Also, they was tripping if they thought I was gonna not get a seat on the trolley. Anyways, I really liked having meetings with senior NCOs and lieutenants, and it kind of sucked because it was the first time since COVID, so we were guinea pigs and random people were in charge, but it was okay. Bye.